my, my prayer, and I, I believe that the Supreme Court will come down on the side of the First Amendment. You know, I said in that article that I used to own, uh, Jefferson had two very famous letters on religious liberty. One was to the Danbury Baptist, Baptist. where he talks about the phrase separation of church and state. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting that phrase today means the exact opposite of what it meant in Jefferson's days. Today, people think it means keeping religion out of government or out of politics. But actually, the separation of church and state was we're going to protect the church from the government. From the government. I believe that religious liberty may be the civil rights issue of the next decade. And if it takes some high profile pastors going to jail over it, like Martin Luther King did over civil rights, I'm in. So be it. I mean, I, I, as Peter said and the apostle said, we must obey God rather than men. Do you think events like this, moments like this, are actually sources of unity and moments of unity, particularly for Catholics sure, and evangelicals? Sure. Well, obviously, we have so much in common uh, in protecting uh, our religious rights and, and really the religious rights of other people who we disagree with on beliefs and behaviors. Mm -hmm. um, Muslims, for instance, don't drink alcohol. If all of a sudden they made a law that said every Muslim uh, restaurant has to serve alcohol, I would be there protesting with that. If they made a law that said every Jewish deli in New York City has to sell pork, right. I'm going to be there protesting. I don't have a problem with pork, but I'm going to protest that. If they make a law that says uh, every Catholic uh, school has to provide contraceptives, if you're morally convinced you shouldn't have contraceptives, I stand with you firm with you on your belief on that because you have a right to change your, ch train your children the way you want to.